All right, let's go. Yo, what up guys? And welcome back to another one. We are out here at Jordan's. We just stopped by, we're picking Jordan up. But first, we're here at Jordan's house. We have it's some- It's a mess, sorry. It's okay, it's a farm. <laughs> he is raising baby turkeys. How many of them you got here? Right now I got 50. But by the time I get all of them in from the hatchery, I'll probably have right around two to 300. Jeez. So crazy so let's check him out uh jordan actually has a youtube channel where he documents all of this crazy stuff that he does yeah this barn he's turning into a complete pigeon loft as well that's where a lot of our overstock of pigeons that i trap that's where a lot of them gonna go check him out little baby turkeys crazy dude he'll be a week old tomorrow a week old tomorrow He's got 50 of them in here. But if you guys are wanting to find out why he's raising 50 turkeys, you gotta go subscribe to his channel. Go check it out. He does some awesome, awesome, interesting things over there. I'm not kidding. But I'll link his channel down in the description below. Go check him out. But we got Fred loaded up. We got decoys loaded up. We got spinners loaded up. We got guns loaded up. We got about 500 shells loaded up. We ready to go, boys. Let's roll. Oh, hey there, Frederico. How are you doing, huh? We got old Frederico out here. Oh, yeah, he's ready to work it. Look, he's wet. We've been in the pond already. So we are at the dairy farm. Haven't been out here for quite some time. You came out here by yourself the other day, didn't you? I did. He shot eight all by himself. All by myself. Little solo starling hunt <laughs> action. Check this out. Jordan was like, dude, look at this. Look what happened to this barn swallow. So uh, we did not kill him. This was a natural death. He literally flew into the barbed wire. You can tell where when he hit, he spun around the barbed wire there. Isn't that wild? See his foot's caught up underneath there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. And he was his, a baby, so he probably just got stuck and then fell over. Yep, his foot got caught right there. Isn't that wild? He pointed out, I was like, I'll be darned, you're right. But we are going to attempt to shoot some starlings today. Hopefully we can make a pile. The goal is 10. We want to down 10 birds today, hopefully, between the two of us. Should be doable. We are rocking the 12 gauge, full choke, both of us, spraying and praying, baby. But I do got to give a huge shout out to, to Ducks Waterfowl, who sponsored this here video. If you like our swag, you like our gear, I'll link it all down in the description below. Go check out the website. Go pick you up something. There's something for everybody over there. Especially if you're a duck hunter. I'm gonna load her up. Give me my weapon so I can load her up. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, I love getting out here at the dairy farm. There's no pressure out here at the dairy farm, you know it? It's always laid back. Oh yeah. It's always just laid back, chilling like a villain out here. You don't have to set a decoy up. You ain't gotta blow a call. You're not expecting much. And I know that old Frederick, he absolutely loves the dairy farm hunts because we get to walk the whole time. It keeps him busy. I can tell you with uh, him being young, uh, the big thing is just sitting for long periods of time, especially behind a blind, and but especially, especially in the heat. That's, that's just a no-go. He gets to panting so hard that his mind gets off of obeying and working. So that's it. That's all she wrote. We are full. Are you full? You got the tube on? Oh, you I took put the tube back on. Oh, you put it back on? I did. We did a pigeon hunt the other day. I was like, bro, where did your tube go and why? He was like, oh, I just figured I'd get rid of it so I could get used to it before, uh, you know, the season hit. And I'm like, bad move. Bad move. Yeah, I regretted that. I was like, boom, boom, boom. I Oh no! Which he had, <laughs> he has a point though. I mean, you kind of want to get used to having three shells and three shells only. When dove season hits, this will be coming off. So. I did shoot a whole lot better though with three shells though. Oh, you did? I, I'm sure. I picked my shots and I, my percentage went yeah. way up. Talking about, speaking of taking my tube off, uh, you guys have to stay tuned. I'm going on an epic, epic little trip, probably by myself, I'd imagine. Uh, with dive bomb decoys, we are going to North Dakota, early season honkers, August. So be be prepared, it's gonna be awesome. I'm not telling you anything else. Frederico, it's windy out here, Frederico. Check it out, we got a little uh, diving dock for Frederico. Here, heel, heel, sit. You 
gonna jump off of it, dude? You're gonna do it? Huh? Set. Fred! <laughs> you weenie! I've only got him to actually jump off the end of it like twice. But we're gonna get him in the pond here a couple goes, get him cooled off, get him wet and feeling good. So he's in good mood. When he gets hot, I'm telling you, he just, he don't do as good. Frederick, you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Let's see if we can shoot something. You think we can? I don't know why not. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be your jacket. <laughs> I don't know why not. Oh, Frederick, you better get wet one more time, dude. Come on, I don't have the, I don't have your bumper. Look, he's like, I'll go get in there. Okay. I don't have your bumper, dude. You're just gonna have to go get in there. Go on. So y'all, there are a lot of starlings here. There's literally, I don't know, how many do you think's here? Uh, I've seen in groups probably close to 500 right now. Yeah, They group. definitely bunched back up again. Yeah. No, the bad thing is it's so hot, you can't get them concentrated on any one particular food source. They like to fly a lot. They bump all over the farm. Yeah, they just go from here to over there. Then, look at that. Gee, many Christmas. Yeah. Holy yeah. smokes. We were just yeah. crossing through the barbed wire fence. All these springers. They're not the smartest. Springers are not the smartest cows. They just bum rush us. I was like, oh God. We might bored. yeah. They, they are bored. <laughs> Jordan was like, oh don't don't bother them. They're they're just bored. Just like, oh something new, something different. Is that a dog? <laughs> I know you guys probably can't see all these birds because they're starlings are a very, very small bird. Uh yeah, here they come, dude. That's a high shot. They don't want to go over us very well, do they? Get one? Yeah. Oh, you got one! Nope. Fred, here. He's freaked out from the cows. He's like, I don't know. They keep looking at me. <laughs> Fred definitely didn't see it. Set. He definitely didn't see that uh, go down. Yeah, these cows are interested in Fred. It's freaking Fred out. It's bad. You all right, dude? You a little freaked out? He don't know what to do about these cows. Fred, here. Set. Fuck. They won't leave him alone. That's why he's freaked out. You all right, buddy? They just run right up to him. What's wrong, man? You scared of him? Get on. Hit. Hey. Hit. Hit. Go on, girl. Leave him alone. Come on, Fred. Ooh, three pigeons. I see three pigeons. Ooh, what you got there? I got an adult bird. I haven't shot one of those in a minute. Look at him. He's oh. really pretty, dude. Wow. That's a good look at surprise. That's probably the prettiest sterling I've ever seen in my life. And the good sun. That's a trophy. You gonna uh you gonna mount that bird? No. <laughs> look behind no. you. Dude, they are not look, they Fred's, are not liking Fred. Fred's like, oh no. <laughs> so here, big. Fred. Here, here, sit. Oh god. Dude, on, they are closing in on you, dude. <laughs> oh, look. They're, oh, Fred. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God. He wants to hurt, trample him. Here, Fred. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, no. Here, Fred. Fred, here. Yeah, that's not good. If they all try to. Here, here, here. Sit. Yeah, that's not. Here. He's scared now. He's really freaked out about him. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. Sit. He's freaked out. He will, uh,. He'll be around guns all day, but these cows, they do not know what to think. Look at that. Dude, they're wild. They are so bored and so easily, yeah. He's going to get trampled. I think they're almost in defensive mode with him. I don't think really. I think they're just bored and annoyed. <laughs> He's, he is freaked out. Maybe we should go on that side or yeah. something. Let's go on the other side of the fence so they won't uh, freak old Frederick out here. Come on, buddy. Watch them. They they don't like him. Come on, Fred. Come on, buddy. He's like, Dad, help me. Come on, Fred. Go on, girls. Go on, girls. Ooh. Go on. How he's definitely keeping you in between all of them. Yeah, he's staying right beside me the whole Dad, way. He works on that side. Comes back. Yeah. He's like, Dad. He's freaked out. He's like, Dad, you gotta save me. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, these cows. They either it's one of two things. They don't like him and they want to trample him, or they're just bored and they want to check him out and it freaks him out. I know there's coyotes that come through every once uh -huh. in a while, so they might be like, hey, yeah. oh, those yeah. things are annoying. 
I bet you there's a lot of coyotes out here. There's there's plenty of them. Yep. That's better, dude. They're all gone. You're good. You're good, dude. Now let's see if we can shoot something. Oh, you... Oh. Holy smokes. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I know I, the, I started the camera a little too late, but that right there, y'all, was... That was a, I mean, that was a 60 yarder. That was incredible. Dude, that was every bit of a 60 yard shot on that Starling, uh, not gonna lie. 60 yards. Jordan just squared up a 60 yarder <laughs> and it landed over in the pond. Wow, uh, dude. That was wild. Woo! Is he? Pigeon. Woo! I'll send it. He was a lot. Nope, no bird, Fred. Here. Here. Fred has been. <laughs> He's been waiting for me to pull the trigger. Here, Fred, here, no bird. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he was, that was a long shot. Up. Yeah, he landed out on the telephone wire. Time for feed, how you doing? Oh, go down. Oh, I don't know how I missed him, Fred. I just don't get it. That was about a 40, 45 yarder. I was, I was, uh, no bird. Come here, Fred. Here, here, buddy. Come on. Here, here. Sit. Sit. I was confident I was going to get him down, but that was a no-go. Yeah. <laughs> a sparrow just landed right here in this tree. He just landed in this tree. You in here, bud? Huh? He went around you. Oh, yep, he sure did. I'm going to shoot him. Jordan just tried to shoot him in another tree. He came to my tree. Where are you at? Right there. There he is. There he is. Oh my God, he's still alive. Here, Fred, 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 here. Don't go through that barbed wire. Fred, here, nope, no bird, nope, nope. Don't go through that barbed wire. Fred, here, here, no bird. Here, Fred, here, here, nope, nope, nope. All right, here's the deal. Hey, here, Fred, hey, hey, hey. Let's have a talk here, sit. You do not go in that pond. Hey, hey, you stay by me. If y'all don't know, those are uh, cow manure lagoons. Fred, no. Get over here, dude. No. And uh, anything that lives in them for too long eventually dies, pretty much. It doesn't much. live in there anymore. Yeah, ducks, it if they stay in there. Days. Right, like during the season or anytime, ducks that stay in there, if they live in there for too long, they just gonna die. And so, <laughs> I don't want you in there, dude. See, the dairy takes really good care of their cattle. Oh they got yeah, fans look running. at that. They've got misters going, they've Jeez. got shade cloth. The look at that. are comfortable. Look at this. Because happy cows produce better. Yeah, happy cows produce so more milk. You take care of your hey, animals, Fred. they take care of you. Yeah, that's true, check it out. They got misters above all the feed bunks. They got big fans out back. They take care of their cows. That's really cool. Get them. Oh, these girls just said, hey, man, what are you doing? I forgot <laughs> the boomers have been going for a little while. Yeah. They're like, ah! Yeah, the, they have boomers out here that scare away the starlings, and they haven't been, have, they haven't had to run them during the summer, so the cows, they got to get acquainted with the boom again. Yeah, we were doing our job really well. No, Fred, Fred, no, I don't think so. Stay up here. Oh, geez. Oh, how did I miss? Nope, no bird. Nope, Fred here. That was a bird. That starling was literally in my face. Hey, thanks for picking up my shell, man. I was watching out. <laughs> now, if y'all were here, you would be getting the uh, the aroma. Oh, yeah. It's it really... The essence <laughs> of farm. It is the essence of the dairy farm. Oh, sheesh, look at this. Oh, he's he's down. he's down! Wow! Boom! I gotta go get that well, bird. Let's go back. We gotta go get him. First bird down. Go. Fred, that was like a mile away. I'm sorry, buddy. There's no way you were gonna see that one. Whoo! Them long shots, dude. When you make a long shot on a starling. Now, guys, long shots on ducks and geese. Yeah, that. I. Yeah, no. That that you spray and pray when you want to. to Pick your poison, pretty much. But when you do a long shot on a starling, you got nothing to lose. And when you make it, it's like, oh yeah. I meant that. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> Look, 
Look, look, dead bird. Fred. That's an adult bird adult too. Bird. Look at that. Second starling down. Jordan's got one down. I got one down. Third starling. Oh, that's third. I one in the pond oh, yeah. Okay, so that, third you know, down. Skyscraper shot. Oh, yeah. The starlings are here in abundance. They're just hard to hit because they, uh, it's hot out. They don't want to feed. Look at that, bud. What do you think? What do you think? Go get them. Come on here, Frederick. Here, come on. He's like, oh, that's a small bird. I can put the whole thing in my mouth. No. Want to put him in your satchel, sir? Fred, <laughs> look at old Jordan here. He's got the old satchel. I need to get me a satchel. Oh, oh here we are. <laughs> Fred, sit. Don't you think about going in the old lagoon? No. No, dude. No. Here they come. Gonna give us a whopper right over the topper. Maybe. Another 50, 60 yard shot, maybe. Yeah, right here, these two. No? Yeah. Oh. What about this one? I'm going to be looking into the sun really bad. Oh, I can't see him. I can't see. Oh! Boom. No, Fred, 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 Fred. No, no, no. Fred, here, here, here. Set good. Oh, he about went in. No, Fred, Fred, here. Darn it, dude. Set. How do I tell him not to go get a bird that fell in the water? Set, dude. It's okay. God. I don't want him going in there no, at all. No. He could get some nasties. Oh. Fred, all right, we need to get away from the pond or something. He's, come on, buddy. No, Fred, here. Come on. He's still wanting to dart Ooh. in there. Fred, come on. It is. Let's go. Fred just doesn't understand. I don't feel like taking you to the vet because you're puking and pooping your brains out, dude. He would literally, I bet you he'd have diarrhea within an hour. Uh. It's not good stuff. No, that's that's it's not. Stuff. Fred here. Jeez, dude, you weren't lying. There is a lot of starlings here. Here, up, buddy, yeah. here. Here, sit. Uh, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, here they come. Get ready. Oh, you shot the same Oh, oh double, double baby. Up. Woo! Did I pick your bird? I was like, <laughs> boom! Fred oh, here. Before I shot. <laughs> Fred here. No bird, come here. I don't know where they landed, but uh, yeah, we better pick up our shells. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you got your satchel. I forgot. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Thank easy. you. That was good shooting. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Linda's going, way to go. That was her version of a thumbs up. Right here. Oh, oh nice shot, dude. <laughs> I was like, I hope he's pulled up on it because I sure am not. I was waiting for you to shoot. No, I wasn't ready. I couldn't get my bead on him at all. Right. I could not, I couldn't steady my gun. Coming into the wind like that, they do some weird yeah, things. Yeah, when they're flying in the wind, it's come, It's always doing this. Doesn't take much from the change direction at no. all. No. I'll tell you what, if you guys have never starling hunted, it is the best shooting practice that you can possibly have. They're small birds, they're fast. You gotta be on them. And, uh, Dairy farms are great for it because they attract to the feed. They love to eat the cattle's food. These silage bags, this is where it's at. They don't, they're coming from the cut alfalfa field and uh, they don't even see you. Look at these two right here. Oh, just out here wasting shells. <laughs> this was the ticket all along. I wish it would have came here right off the get-go because these starlings are literally just coming right over these silage bags like right this one right here i missed mine yet again well fred's doing good though here come here buddy he says there ain't nothing to fetch but uh, at least he's getting some gunshots well i absolutely just made the best shot that i've made all day dead starling up there on the roof oh fred i shot him he was looking around for it couldn't find it it's up there on the roof but i didn't have the camera on that's always cool it's always cool when you don't capture the clips that you want yeah. that was the best one and yeah no one will yeah get it. yeah you just have to believe me <laughs> what'd you think dude i know i know it's not as intense and action-packed and as good 
for Fred like the pigeon hunts are. The pigeon hunts, they just take the cake. Uh, you're decoying them. It's like, it's, it's summertime duck hunting is what I like to call pigeon hunting. But hunting the old dairy farm, it is what it is. You never know what's going to happen. I think we shot, what do you think we shot total? I bet we shot 10 today. Pretty we just dang, lost a lot. Pretty close, because I had two or three land in the pond, and there's a couple I couldn't yeah. find. But yeah, we shot 10 easy. We definitely shot our 10 birds. We just didn't recover very many of them. I think probably four of them ended up in the pond where we fought Fred not to go in. But out of the... But other than that, it wasn't a bad deal here at the dairy farm. I haven't been here for some time. There is a lot of starlings. Uh, if I can only imagine that many starlings being here during the winter when they're actually forced to feed here and not across the road, it's going to get interesting. Wintertime starling hunts here are pretty wild, right? <laughs> There's a lot more. What we saw today is nothing. Yeah. Nothing. But if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up for your boy. And if you haven't subscribed, you need to do so because Lots of hunts to come. Lots of hunts to come. Duck season's on the way, boys. We're biting at the bit. But thank y'all for being here. Till next time. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.